ESIC staff nurse practice set 2. Question number 1. Which of the following is the most common pathological finding in individuals at risk for sudden cardiac death? Options are A. Erotic valve disease B. Mitral valve disease C. Left ventricular dysfunction D. Arthrosclerotic heart disease And the correct answer is D. Arthrosclerotic heart disease Question number two. Which of the following is an absolute contraindication for the use of fibronolytic therapy? Option A. Current use of anticoagulants. B. Severe liver disease. C. Suspected erotic dissection. D. Active peptic ulcer disease. And the correct answer is C. Suspected erotic dissection. Question number three. Which of the following drugs provide relief of anxiety and decreases both preload and afterload? A. Emerinon. B. Morphine sulfate C. Fosamide D. Dobutamine The correct answer is B. Morphine sulfate Question number 4 Increased sweating leads to A. Hyponatremia B. Hypernatremia C. Hypervolemia D edema and the correct answer is hyponatremia. Question number five: Renal threshold for glucose is decreasing. Diabetic mellitus, insulinoma, renal glycosuria, elementary glycosuria. Correct answer is renal glycosuria. Question number six. A positive venerix test is not given by A. Sucrose B. Lactose C. Maltose D. Glucose Correct answer is A. Sucrose. Question number seven. In the diet of a diabetic patient, the recommended carbohydrate intake should preferably, preferably be in the form of monosaccharides, disaccharides, polysaccharides, all of these. Answer is polysaccharides. Question number 8. What is the primary reason for the gradual change of position of the patient after surgery? A. To prevent sudden drop of BP. B. To prevent muscle injury. C. To prevent respiratory distress. D. None of these. Correct answer is to prevent, prevent sudden drop of BP. Question number 9. Which of the following drug may be given to reduce increase, increased intracranial pressure? A. Manitol B. Scoplamine C. Lenoxine D. Compose And the correct answer is A. Manitol Question number 10. Rapid administration of blood containing citrate cause A. Hypokalemia B. Hyperkalemia C. Hypocalcemia D. Hypercalcemia The correct answer is 
हाइपर कैलीमिया क्वेश्चन नंबर ग्यारह ए नेसेसरी सेफ्टी प्रिकॉशन व्हेन एम्बुलेटिंग ए पेशेंट इज टू हैव फैमिली मेंबर्स हैव पेशेंट्स वेयर वेल फिटेड शूज हैव एट लीस्ट टू पर्सन्स नन ऑफ दिस आंसर इज हैव एट लीस्ट टू पर्सन्स क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व When providing a patient's hydration status, a nurse should initiate provision of variety of fluids, provide ice chips, give fluid on patient's demand, maintain inflow and outflow chart. The answer is maintain inflow and outflow chart. Question number thirteen. Which vitamin is called alpha tocopherol? A. Vitamin B. Vitamin E. Vitamin K. Vitamin A. The correct answer is vitamin E. Question number fourteen. Which part of body is affected in typhoid? A lungs B intestines C liver D pancreas The correct answer is intestines Question number 15 Alpha keratin is protein present in wool eggs blood skin The correct answer is skin question number 16 the patient and anxiety during the pre operative period would decrease by which of the following nursing nursing actions reassuring the patient that the surgical staff are competent professional spending time listening to the patient and answering questions encouraging sleep next option is explaining all procedures thoroughly and the correct answer is reassuring the patient that the surgical staff are competent professional question number 17 glycosylated Hemoglobin is determined to diagnose hypothyroidism, diabetes mellitus, gout, all of the above. The correct answer is diabetes mellitus. Question number eighteen: Serum lipase level increases in. Bagger's disease, Gaucher's disease, acute pancreatitis, diabetes mellitus, and the correct option is acute pancreatitis. Question number nineteen. Which of the following clinical features alert the nurse to lithium toxicity? Increasingly agitated behavior, marked increased food intake, sudden increase in blood pressure, anorexia with nausea and vomiting. The correct answer is anorexia with nausea and vomiting. Question number twenty: Which of the following hormones is not produced by? Placenta, testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, human coronary gonadotropin. The correct answer is testosterone. Question number twenty-one. 
Which of the following is an earliest manifestation of inadequate oxygenation? A. Diaphoresis B. Cyanosis C. Restlessness D. Hypotension And the correct option is Restlessness Question number 22 Which of the following helps to identify? Flail chest in a patient with chest trauma. The correct the options are multiple rib fractures seen in X ray, decreased movement of chest wall, tracheal deviation, the paradoxic chest movement during respiration. The correct answer will be D. Paradoxic chest movement during respiration. Question number 23. Which of the following is an intervention for a patient with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease? Option A. First lip breathing. B. Chronic steroid therapy. C. High flow oxygen. D. High carbohydrate diet. And the correct answer will be A. First deep breathing. Question number 24. Which of the following conditions is caused by elevated intraocular pressure? Option A. Glaucoma. Option B. Cataract. Option C is Trevimus. Uh, option D myopia. And the correct option is A glaucoma. Question number 25. Which of the following is a normal finding obtained during a lymph node palpitation? Option A hard fixed node B firm mobile node C enlarged tender nodes D hard non tender nodes the correct answer is B firm mobile node thanks watch next video for practice it third for ESIC exams From up here